finally, here we are at the final detail, the most important detail. This is literally your biggest reason why you want to start with finally, comma, here's how it should look. Pause. So before I even tell you how we should look, I forgot that I gave myself this note. The story that we can use to support all of our answers, we have the frog prints from my example, the Little Red Riding Hood, which we read this week, Hansel and Gretel, Snow White, and I'm missing the three little pigs. So that's an extra story for you to make sure that your details are solid. Once again, so here's my example of, of how I found my fourth and final reason. Once again, my topic sentence. There are many ways modern versions of fairy tales differ from the original version. So we know that all of my reasons should match the fact that fairy tales differ. So here they go. Modern, fair, modern versions teach lessons more overtly than the original versions. Boom. Modern versions are typically friendlier than the original version. Third, and remember I changed up my wording a little bit and make sure you do the same. Third, another reason is because characters are portrayed differently. Finally, modern, oh, this is my fourth detail. You saw I started with finally. I was so excited. I didn't even give that, that note. Anyway, finally, modern versions of fairy tales reflect aspects of society that did not exist, erase the S, exist when the original was created. Well, where did I get that from? Let's think about the princess and the frog because you know that's always going to be my example. Having to work hard and her working at, you know, the diners and the music, that's something that's more prevalent in what we would see in present day New Orleans. I can't speak on how it was in the past, but I know that image of Tiana working hard and the environment that she's going in and even seeing the, the shift of how houses look in different communities is definitely something that we can relate to from today's society. So that's what Miss Sims means when she says that modern versions um, reflect aspects of society. And remember, my final details should be my juiciest. And I don't know about you all, but I felt that one. I brought society into this. Come on now. So what's the next step? You got to finish stronger than we started. So you have to have your final sentence. It should look a lot like that topic sentence. It needs to summarize your topic. If it looks like the topic sentence, then there, <laughs> there you have that. But it also needs to be an obvious conclusion. Literally so simple. i Maybe kind of sort of don't mind if you borrow mine or if you change the wording in mine to suit yours. So here's my example. There are just these are just a few reasons to show how modern versions of fairy tales differ from the original version. Boom. Simple, clean cut. Very short, got to the point very quickly. So that's easy. We just have one more step. Put it all together. Listen to how this paragraph flows and you all tell me Sims what you think. There are many ways modern versions of fairy tales differ from the original version. Modern versions teach lessons more overtly than the original versions. Modern versions are typically friendlier than the original version. Another reason is because characters are portrayed differently. Finally, modern versions of fairy tales reflect aspects of society that did not exist when the original was created. These are just a few examples to show how modern versions of fairy tales differ from the original version. Baby, that's the paragraph, okay? And that's what you all are going to do today. You all have all of your answers. I set them to be emailed back to you all so you all can access your Kip Ascend um, email account. Just go to Google. I mean, go to Gmail when you're log logged into Google, and you shall have your answers from this week. So there are no excuses to not have your sentences. I also told you to write them down and keep track of them in case you didn't see that email. So literally, you have no reason to not be successful. And if you didn't do either of those, I guess you'll be writing me a fresh paragraph today. But I look forward to reading it. Good luck.